and we can close out of the forms designer I just double check to make sure I've got the name right I like the double check things I do and we're going to the context menu builder we looked at this very very briefly in the last lesson um, so I'll just fill this in fairly quickly we're going to be working with our patient entry window so that's our form name and the control that we want to work with is the edit line one the one that we've just put in now we've got all of the controls within our form um, including the labels but on this one it's the edit line number one that we want to put the context menu on and then we could go ahead and build up our menu so the first thing we'll have is a message now we put the item text in and it automatically puts the item ID in for us and in addition it puts the uh, menu item in this white area here and that's going to build up so that we can see what our message is going to look like now I'm not going to worry about help text and bitmaps they work exactly the same as the previous lesson so I won't worry about those for the moment and what we'll do is we'll add another item which is going to be help and then I want to have a separator and then we'll add another item which is going to be MP underscore color change and because I'm working in English I've put spelled color correctly which is good okay we'll put another one in there which is MP underscore message we're not actually going to do anything with that one but I'll come to that in a moment and then we'll just add another one which is context menu item one for no real reason now I don't particularly like the order in here so we'll tidy that up now I like to have in my separator underneath the two controls that we're going to be working with um, for the, the windows um, I also want my color change a little bit higher because we're going to be working with that one and I think we'll pop another separator in there let's just uh, move that up and then the context menu item one and the MP message we're not actually going to be doing anything with those we'll just leave the context message um, just as it is but the MP message is going to be disabled because I haven't got any code to go behind there so we'll have that as disabled and the main one that's going to do our color change I'll just mark that as checked for no real reason just that you'll see the, the little graphic come in there rather than me putting the, the bitmaps in now on the message we actually need to make this do something so if we look at the send message to we'll send it to an entity and we can click on the lookup button here and what I'm going to be doing is sending that to a message which is that one there and my help oh let's just go back I need to set the message to be execute and I'm not passing any parameters in next we need to have a look at help and again that's going to be an entity and we'll just have a look and this time it's actually gone straight to quick help messages so I can just select my context menu help okay that now you'll notice that I've got my uh, open insight menu and my windows menu both off for the moment we'll come back to that in a moment the MP color change is another option that I want to change and in this instance again it's going to be an entity and we can look that up and this time I want to have store procedures which is the store procedures executables and the context menu test option that we created earlier on I want to send that execute and when we're done we can do a file and update is those steps will have created a record for us in the sysrepos menu context table and then what we can do is to close down that window go into our design form because what we need to do is to connect the context menu to our form so we'll open up the patient entry form I'm going a little bit slowly here because this is brand new stuff to me and we'll double click on the form itself to open up the events and on the create event for the window I need to go into the scripts button and we just need to enter some code so we need to declare a function in this case of context menu and we need to enter status and I've got this from the help file which is context menu and then in brackets the control 
Ent ID. And we'll concatenate that with our edit line. And we need to create menu in there. And we're happy with return zero. So we can compile that, make sure we get our syntaxes correct. Once we have, we can close out of that window, save the event handler. OK, OK, and we can test run the window. And we'll save that on the way out. And this time, if I right mouse click on the edit line, this new one that we put in there, then I get my little message here. Now, that's slightly off the video, so it's just come out of there. And what I'll do is I'll just drag this control up here so that you can see better. Apologize for that. And this time, if we go to the edit line that we're working with and we right mouse click, then we get our little context menu come up. And if I click on message, then I'll get my, hey, you just called a message from your context menu message come up, which is nice. And if I click on the help, then I get my little help message that comes up as well. And if I right mouse click on my MP color change, you'll see it go green. So on that control, you saw us calling a couple of little windows from quick events and also a store procedure that's a program that could be as complicated as you wanted. Now I've just got a few items on here. I've got my, my disabled MP message, um, but I've just got a few items on there. So let's just come out of here for the moment. Just OK that, get rid of that one. And tools, we go back into the context menu. And if we just go back into the entry window and our edit line that we're working with, and this time I'll turn on both the open insight menus and the Windows menu. And we'll just update that. Come out of there. We'll go back into the Forms Designer. And we'll open up the form and we'll test run it. And then this time when we right mouse click, we not only get our special menu that we've created, but underneath that, we also get a few more items which is options, help, undo, cut, copy and paste. So we're getting our, our open insight and our windows menu as well, which is building the menu. So you, you've got all of those options and all of this comes through um, without any programming for you. So obviously there's a, a lot more to working with context menus. What we've done today is very straightforward, very easy. Um, you could now programmatically change the um, contacts menu depending on different states and you can get as clever as you want to but that's a very big subject it's definitely beyond my skill level and that would be something that you'd need to talk to the real world developers within the official training or through consultancy or whatever so that's the contacts menus um, thanks so much for your time today i'll see you again in the next lesson take care bye bye